Welcome back, Wonderlanders! It's the final day of our Man. amazing, beautiful voyage. But rest assured, we're still going in the parks before we have to fly back home. What park are we going to? Magic. Cheeseburger spring rolls, baby, here I come. I'm gonna just like eat as many as I can. And the Dole Whip too. Don't you wanna get a Dole Whip maybe? Heck yeah, I wanna yeah. try the coconut Dole Whip. Which that's, oh, that's right. I didn't even know they had. I'm gonna just engorge myself with cheeseburger spring rolls. Like just eat them back to back. Like a cheeseburger spring roll train in my mouth. Mm. Like a cartoon. Mm -hmm, exactly <laughs> like a cartoon. So the vibe for today, the agenda for today is just chill, take mm. it easy. We don't have Genie Plus. We don't have any lightning lanes. No. And we did that on purpose. We don't want to rush around to grab some rides. We only have a few hours in the parks. So like Chris said, we have some food items that we want to get to. And I'd really like to do the silhouette cutout portraits. Yeah. I will show you guys if and when we get to those and talk about it a little bit more. That is a must do that I would like to do. Yeah. And the beauty of that is I think we're going to try to hit that up as, like, as soon as we can mm -hmm. because they can work on that while you're roaming the parks. Mm -hmm. So we'll ask the cast members about how long it takes and kind of gauge it based on how long we're going to be in the parks because we do want to come back to the hotel room to kind of freshen up change and kind of wander about later on because our flight is a little bit later mm -hmm. but we do have a late checkout so yes. 12 30 so we need to be back about an hour before that to give us time to wrap all our stuff up yeah we'll bring all our stuff to bellhop bellhop will hold your items until you actually have to leave and pro tip if you are staying at caribbean beach resort please call bellhop 45 minutes before you plan to leave the room because then they can schedule you in they can collect your bags and leave it at bellhop and please tip your bellhops <laughs> please they are great people they're really good at what they do and they work really hard in this extreme florida heat so be kind to them say please say thank you and tip them please so it's 8 15 15 minutes before uh park entry begin so we won't get there right at park entry but I think we should get going let's go ahead and skedaddle and get out of here and eat our weight and cheeseburger spring rolls and <laughs> dole it and maybe just maybe all right maybe fingers crossed no promises <laughs> all right let's go I think this is a cardinal sin. It should be Joffrey's. But she's a star, Miss Babe. Look at all these tumblers, honey. I don't need another one. I won't buy one, I promise. Well, we said her our hellos to the castle. We did. Oh, talking. happy birthday. <laughs> be be Where are they at? They're on that. The name of the next song is a tender ballad entitled simply, She Was Just a Farmer's Daughter, But I Never Could Oh, attract. I like this song. So in the background, that was the Dapper Dance. And throughout the morning, go on my Disney Experience app and they list out uh, the times that they sing. So you can check them out. The army mateys. It's a pirate's life for me. Is it a pirate's life for you, Chris? 
<laughs> I mean, I do like rum. I can't believe it. I feel like maybe in a past life I was Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> I mean, I had dreads at one point in my life too. Just saying. If you haven't guessed, we're going on Pirates of the Caraboon. The Caraboon. Ready to smell all the smells and drink all the rum. See the dirty foot. And grab all the booty. <laughs> it's a five minute wait. I'll take that. Strike your colors, you blooming cockroaches! And you know your swabbies. What may I offer for these hearty eggs? Every one of them glare. Not less they be laying gold in it. It's the rum that wants the rum. Don't you, boy? Yeah. Hey, watch out! Very good, 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 you could do that. I want a refund. I don't think Disney will do that. <laughs> Just kidding. It was wonderful. It was a walk on. It was. And we got to meet some more friends. We got to meet yes, Caitlin. Caitlin and Bob. Hi guys. Just want to give y'all a shout out. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for stopping by and talking to us. They're really nice. Yes. So. And I know their girls watch. So hey girls. Yeah. <laughs> it's always nice meeting Wonderlanders. Absolutely. Well, I think. It's time for cheeseburger spring rolls. It is time. I'm getting my own. I need to get yours. I'm oh my. Hungry. Well, that's our breakfast. The breakfast of champions. <laughs> yeah, let's go do it. All right. So we we're on our way to go get cheeseburger spring rolls, and we met yet again another Wonderlander. Hi, Stephanie. Stephanie, you were awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love meeting all types of friends and just, it was really cool. So if you see us in the parks, please, by all means, don't be afraid. Come say hi, take some photos. Yes. We love our fans and we love meeting friends, so. And it's a small community, right? Like us Disney adults yeah. and us Disney fans, we gotta stick together. Yeah, we do. <laughs> all right, cheeseburger spring rolls, please. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I don't want to say it. You can tell them what happened. Unfortunately, um, there is a delay in the kitchen with the spring rolls. Uh, lovely cast member Josh, he was so apologetic, but when this stuff happens, be patient guys, it does happen. You know, the cart was open, but the cheeseburger spring rolls will commence later on. Yeah. So for right now, we are going to hop on a few attractions, and Chris, where do you want to go? I've never done the... Uh, the Speedway, what's it called? Tomorrowland Speedway. That's right. <laughs> I've never done that, so I'm gonna drive because if we let this one drive, we'd go off the track and probably crash into a wall somewhere, right? You know what? I'm I just joking. She's a great driver. No, I I'm a Jersey driver, and for those who know, you know how we drive. Yeah, but we're gonna go do that because I've never done that before, and I think it'd be fun. All right, guys, let's go. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. We're in one of them European cars where the steering wheel's on the right hand side. <laughs> <laughs> ah, damn it. I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of hard to like keep it centered. Yeah. A little bit. I'll tell you what though, this is a nice breeze. That feels good. Ah, my God, I hit the bike. <laughs> I just got a 
drive away. I gotta do it like this. Like I'm really driving. Heartbreak! I almost I almost bumped into people in front of us. Alright, back to cruising. Tomorrowland Speedway done. That was fun. I mean, the daredevil in me wanted to go way faster, but it was fun. I, I enjoyed it. It's a lot harder than it looks to keep it centered. Oh yeah. Oh, for sure. Cause I feel like they make do that on purpose. Yeah. But it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. I'm glad I got to knock that off my Disney ride list of rides that I haven't ridden. Yeah. I have a few more, but we'll we'll touch on those on our next uh, vacation. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna go into Star Traders. Do a little browsing. And then hit up the silhouette booth. Yep, and, and then try the cheeseburger spring roll cart again. If not, we'll go somewhere else because I'm getting really hungry. Yeah, me too. And we still have two quick service credits to use. Yeah, so let's do it. All right, let's go. This right here is the Disney Pride collection. Disney typically releases it a couple weeks before June because June is Pride Month. And here you go. The Disney Pride Collection was created by members and allies of the LGBTQIA community. The Walt Disney Company proudly works with nonprofits throughout the year to support the community globally. For all you Stitch fans, got some merch here. Spirit jersey, button up, a towel, wallet. Really cute stuff. They tend to use Stitch for their summer collection, so I don't know if this is their summer collection or not, but a few pieces of merchandise there. And this is the summer collection. They have a mini zip up, mini short, some slides, mini t-shirt uh, that is, lounge fly advisor. Got some ears, tank top and a button down. Some more stuff over here. I really like this t-shirt. How cute is that? I think that's going to come home with me. Like a cover up. Let's see how much it is. And it is $34.99. And I get my annual pass discount. I like it uh, nice and big, so I think I'm gonna get that used as a pool cover up. Yes, sir. What did you find, sir? For me? Yes, me. I see something behind your back. OMG. That's really cute. <laughs> it's like a Pixar button down. Mm -hmm. Is it nice and light? Yeah, it's like the Roosevelt shirts. It's but it's not a Roosevelt, right? No, it's not oh, a Roosevelt. Okay. I don't think they're going to be in the parks quite yet, but they should be. They should. It is $64.99. And you get your 20% discount. It is nice, though. It is really cool. Check out the Donald one, though. The Donald one's really cool. Oh, yeah, I didn't show you guys this collection yet. So they are celebrating... I think it's 25 years of Donald. Way longer than that, maybe. Well, hmm. Honey, the, the Hollywood Studios is 35 years old and Donald came before that. All right, cancel that, guys. Yeah. The heat's getting to my Donald's head. Up 90? I think he's 90 years old. Oh my God, he's 90 years old? I so. Wow. I really like this hoodie. I think that's adorable. It's hot. So how about a fan? <laughs> wow, that's nice. That's the Disney Pride fan. Oh, what? That's so cool. Sweet. Feels good. You guys don't have to stop. It's nice and serious. Get your natural room for a Come on, you want to record it? What? 
price of one. That's one free now, okay? <gasps> oh, thank you. Oh, You're Tim, they're beautiful. Thank you so much. And you wanted one frame only, right? Uh, yes. yes one okay. frame. So I'm putting both copies in your frame, okay? Okay, Perfect. thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yes! They didn't have Powerade, but I got Coca-Cola because Coca-Cola goes good with the uh, cheeseburgers, you know what I mean? That's your uh, chef brain pairing. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy and I'm so hungry. Are they just as good as you remember them? Oh my God. He's a converted cheeseburger spring rolls lover. Oh my God. Yeah. And um, I know you have a mouthful of food, but I believe they were nine something each. So for two orders of cheeseburger spring rolls and a Coca-Cola came out to $24. Now they have two different kinds of spring rolls here. They have the pizza ones, the pepperoni and pizza one, and the cheeseburger spring roll. Now you can either get, so there's, uh, you get two spring rolls per order. Now you can either get two cheeseburger spring rolls or two pizza spring rolls, or you can get one cheeseburger spring roll and one pizza spring roll. So you can kind of try both at the same time, which I think is really smart for Disney to do that. I'm gonna do it. This is a 12 out of 10. It just goes over the scale. Ditto, babe, ditto. These are fantastic. All right, we're gonna enjoy our spring rolls and we'll catch you guys in a bit. Magic Kingdom, you have been magical. You've been great. And this is probably the last time we're gonna see you on this trip. Yeah. <sighs> Even though we have a lot of time before we have to leave for our flight, I think we're gonna go back to the room, freshen up, get our bags to Bellhop, and then we're gonna go hit up, uh, what's it called? Old Port Royale. Old Port Royale. I got my eyes on those uh, jerk chicken wings. Yeah, we're gonna have some lunch because we still have a quick service credit to use. Yep. So I didn't get my coconut Dole Whip, but it's okay. I'll be back, baby. We'll be back, guys. Be back. Or maybe I'll just make it. <laughs> We have exited the Magic Kingdom. The railroad has something to say about that. She said, no, come back, stay. Please stay. <laughs> but we are going to the bus transportation depot. One thing that I've always wanted to try was a minivan. Well, not an actual minivan, but a minivan. Get it? Because it's mini mouse. Uh... So basically, if you order a lift, Disney offers what's called a minivan service. I'll show you what the car looks like. It is uh, quite pricey. However, it's door to door service. At the Magic Kingdom, it's stop number two on the bus loop, and it'll literally bring you right to your resort. In this case, right to our building at Caribbean Beach. So to save our feet, save some time, yeah. we hopped on a minivan. Hi, Ron, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm gonna oh. I'll sit with her. Keep her company, you know? Yeah. We're going to Caribbean Beach. Yes, yes sir. sir. Unfortunately, going to check out. Oh. <laughs> but we're gonna hang out though. Our flight's not until like eight. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we'll, we'll hang out, get some food, relax. Yep. Hit the pool. 
Oh yeah, uh, maybe. That's not nice. <laughs> They're gonna see uh, Boba Fett and be like, what is this? I don't know where this thing is taking me. <laughs> the circle's good? Yeah, the circle's that's fine. great. It's perfect. Okay. Yeah, because we're just gonna walk right down the, those two buildings. Which one? Um, the li literal last, where it says 39. This is perfect. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right then. Well, thank you, Ron. Well, thank you so much, Ron. Ron. Well, Wonderlanders. We're not quite at the finish line yet, but we are getting closer. We came back to the room. As you can tell, we freshened up and, and changed. Ah, this is always the bittersweet moment because yeah. we know we're leaving, but at the same time, we know that we will be back. Yeah. And we know that we're gonna take all these memories that we had for this trip with us for the rest of our lives. But yes. It is sad. Yeah, normally I'm way sadder because I'm normally, oh, I don't know when I'm going to come back or, oh, I hope I'll come back soon, but I know we're going to come back yeah. soon. So it's a yeah. different feeling. I'm more excited to see Momo, our Chihuahua mix dog mm -hmm. and... A little baby, a yeah, little fur baby. A little fur baby and see our family again. Mm -hmm. But I, I really enjoyed our time at Caribbean Beach Resort. Oh my gosh, what yeah. a beautiful resort. What a significant difference from staying at Pop Century. Yeah, this has been a really great experience to be able to come to the Caribbean Beach Resort. I mean, it's a night and day difference between where we normally stay at, which is Pop Century, to here. And to be able to get one of the newly renovated rooms, the Under the Sea Room, which is their Little Mermaid theme room. Mm -hmm. And for all of you out there to know, uh, upon booking this room, you can request to be in the Trinidad section. Now the Trinidad section is the only section that has these updated rooms. You can also uh, wait till you actually check in and you can ask to be put in the Trinidad section if they have any available rooms. And I'd like to point out that I am a very light sleeper and one of the issues I have at Pop is you can hear everything. I remember on our honeymoon, I could hear people upstairs, downstairs, the toilets flushing, the doors opening and closing. Yeah. And I don't know if it's because there's not a lot of people in this building because it is the furthest away, but I didn't hear any noise no. overnight. I mean, it was great. I got full night's sleep and I think that's why I had so much energy. I mean, my feet hurt, but just feeling like I'm ready to go. I, I had a great sleeps here, restful nights. So I highly recommend it. Would you stay here again? Absolutely. I would too. Yes. Hands down, beautiful resort, very affordable. Yeah. If you're looking for an in-between from a value to a deluxe, this is, I mean, perfect. Yeah. So now the plan is to kind of wait we have about another half an hour before our checkout time, mm -hmm. but also we asked Bell Services to come by at 12.30 to come pick up our stuff. Mm -hmm. Just make sure when you call the front desk that it's about 45 minutes before your checkout. It gives them enough time to kind of, you know, get things in line and, and get it set up so they can come and get your stuff. And then we're going to go get some lunch and take you along on that. We have two more prick service credits to uh, use up. So we'll use those for lunch. So real quick, we just wanted to show you something that Samantha's always wanted to get and something that's kind of new to me. I knew that they offered this service. I just didn't know how long it took, how they did it. I also thought they took like a photo of like your side profile and you left and came back. I was wrong about that, but it was literally like sit down and it was about five minutes for me, five minutes for you and they literally Cut. His name was Tim. Wonderful man. Comes from Raleigh, North Carolina. Hey, Tim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he grabbed the paper and he was looking at my side profile and he just went to town and he was just so great with it. So we wanted to show you guys what we got. And what Chris is referring to are the silhouettes booth at the Magic Kingdom. So this is what we got. Look how amazing that is. Let me get closer so you guys can... Did he get your good side? He did. I love that you can see like the hairs on my mustache. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that, but I mean, 
the amount of detail that's in it with just a pair of scissors and some paper. It was about $48. I think each individual person that he cut out was... $14 per person. And then the frame was $20. All right, we'll catch you guys in a little bit. So Al from Bell Services grabbed our luggage and it's gonna take us to the front where we're gonna have some lunch. It is 12.40, so we have plenty of time to relax before we leave. Right next to Sebastian's Bistro is the Banana Cabana. It is a bar and a quick service location here at the Caribbean Beach Resort, and we are going to sit down and have some lunch. So we just learned something. Yeah. We went to the Banana Cabana, and it's a little outdoor bar where they offer some snacks, like appetizers and some, some uh, entrees. Right behind us. Yep, cocktails, drinks. And we had uh, two quick service credits that we still need to use, which we, we will still use. But unfortunately, you can't use them here, which is fine. Again, roll with the punches. It's quite all right. But it's just good information to know. It's something that we learned. Yep. And for all of you out there that are watching that want to stay here or going to stay here, that's good information to know. So we just wanted to tell you guys that. I still ordered a beer. And I ordered the infamous jerk chicken grilled wings because I'm a wing man and Samantha has never had jerk chicken before so this will be a great introduction for her to try it then the plan is to walk over to the Riviera because it's right over there yeah and use our quick service credits I might get the croc monsieur I bet you will so I'm gonna wait on the food they said about 15 minutes that was about five minutes ago and yeah, I mean, we're just enjoying this absolutely gorgeous weather and just beautiful view overlooking the Caribbean beach and the Riviera. I mean, it, it's nice. We are at Banana Cabana at the Caribbean Beach Resort and we just got our jerk chicken wings and I am super excited because Samantha has never tried jerk chicken before and we hear that this is some of the best out yeah. there. So it comes with carrots and some type of ranch or whatnot. We'll taste it and let you know what it is, but. I'm gonna go naked first and I'm gonna do a dip. What is that for ranch? I think so. Here, I'll tell you what. I love ranch. Let me try it. It doesn't look like ranch, but let's see. It's like a ranch, but it's got like this cucumber, oniony flavor. Oh, so it's like an herb dressing. Mm, it's really good. Do you like it? Ooh. Ooh. Is it spicy? A little bit. Well, yeah, jerk, jerk wings. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I'm okay. They're good. Why don't you go for a dip? That is on point. All right, I'm gonna do a dip too. Oh yeah, it's got a kick. <laughs> mm. I love these. These. I, I, how do you like it? First time having jerk chicken. I like them. I'm not a bone-in wing type of person. Call me a child, but I like the boneless wings. But these are really good. Like, if. I don't think I would order these per se, but if Chris had a plate of them in front of him, like I'm doing now, I would grab one. Yeah. Well, also too, typically, you know, when you get jerk chicken, it's served with like some other stuff like rice or yeah. something along those lines. And it's not specifically just chicken wings, it's like chicken thighs and the meat. But the flavors are there, nice amount of heat. That grilled flavor, charred flavor is prominent for sure. Yeah. I would get this again, nine out of 10. And how much were they again? So with the beer and the wings, it was, I believe like $28 total. The wings uh, is $14. Get the jerk chicken wings if you're not afraid of heat. Highly recommend. There are six wings per order. Yeah. Worth it. So we're gonna finish this up and then 
I think the Riviera is in our future. Yeah, because I would like a full meal. Yeah, I can eat some more. So, we're gonna finish this up, and then we'll catch you over at the Riviera. regret my decision of the food that I got. No. Well, what I mean by that is it's, it's, it's heavy and it's hot outside. Oh, I see. But I got the beef bolognese. I want to point out real quick that Chris and I mobile order, so that's why it's in boxes. But if you come to this location and order at the counter, everything does get served on like plates and full yeah. silver. You don't mind. No. So Samantha and I used our last two quick service credits for this meal. And that also included a drink. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead and grabbed a Stella Trois. What'd you get? I got a Pinot Grigio. And it came in this cute little, like, to go wine. Not thing. bad, not bad. Yeah. When in France. Want to cheers over this yeah. wonderful meal? Probably our last meal on Disney property for right now for this trip. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, love you. you too. Good. Delicious. All right, Disney. Let's see. Mm. Mm. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's really good. That is definitely house-made pasta. I can totally tell. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And if it's not, wherever they're buying that from, I need to find out because that tastes exactly like house-made pasta. I really like that. It's not as heavy as you think it is. No, yeah, it's definitely, I thought it was going to be a very heavy meal. But it's not, it's because it's that fresh pasta. That's delightful. Yeah, it's nice. All right, what'd you get? I went with a grilled chicken sandwich with a tomato spread, spinach and artichoke spread, mozzarella on a toasted focaccia. Mm. Is it good? It's a big sandwich. I really like this. It's nice and light. The flavors are very well balanced. It is a big sandwich and the bread kind of is falling apart a little bit, but overall I'd give it like an 8 out of 10. I'd give mine a 7 out of 10. I would give yours an 8 out of 10 too. I almost, almost prefer your pasta over my sandwich. What can I say? I like food. I tend to get the good <laughs> stuff. So we're going to enjoy the rest of our lunch and we'll pick it up when we're done. What in the world did you just get? A little sweet treat. A little sweet treat. Look at this thing. What is this? This is the seasonal cheesecake at the cafe at the Riviera. There's a little bakery cake here in the lobby and this is their seasonal cheesecake which is a raspberry. It looks divine. Yes. Uh, they had a few other options like a chocolate option and a lemon option but this looked really good. It's nice and cold. Really? You want to try it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that first bite wasn't good enough. I gotta go in for a second one. Oh, I see. That might be one of the better desserts I've had on property. Oh, yeah. I can see why you got that. That's mm -hmm. delicious. White chocolate, raspberry, yeah. And I think it sits like on like a, it looks like a, like some type of cookie. Mm-hmm. Like a shortbread cookie yeah, or something. Yeah, like the, like the crust. Yeah. That's really good. While I was napping for a little bit, we got a cast member come up to us and said, Hey, do you guys want to do a Disney trivia? And I looked at Samantha and she looked at me and we said, sure, why not? It's like a little lounge area. And we were just hanging out and apparently they do trivia here. So we're going to participate because we got... Nothing else but this, <laughs> and this is going to be fun. Plus, I'd like to see how much I know. Samantha knows significantly way more than I do, but I'm getting there. 
So let's uh, let's take you along and see what happens. All right, hello everyone and welcome. My name is Laura. We're gonna get started here as soon as I'm done with my spiel. We have 15 questions for you. Out of a couple bonus questions that we have in the back. This is going to be Disney Parks trivia for the most part. It's going to cover some histories, other things. <laughs> Don't worry. If you need hints, you can ask me at any time. Question number one. What is the tallest Walt Disney World attraction? You do not have to tell me the height. Question number two. What is the name of the first drop in Splash Mountain? R.I.P. All right, my friends, are we ready for question number three? Yes. Yes. All right, who is the intergalactic lounge singer who sings at Cosmic Rays and Magic Kingdom? What is the name of the ride vehicles for Haunted Mansion? I have a family story about this one that I'll tell at the end. How many countries are in Epcot? There is a bonus question if you can name all the countries. But if you don't get them all, you won't lose a point. You'll just get a bonus point if you name them all. I still stand fast on starting in France. I know the whole debate is either Mexico or Canada, right? Team Mexico over here, really. But let's start a new trend. Enter through the Skyliner access in the back. Start in France. Just saying. Yes, just saying. How do we do? Do we have anybody at 15? I don't think so. Those some of them are on. 14? 13? 12? Uh oh. <laughs> Do we have nine? Okay, anyone have higher than nine? No. Oh god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, my friends. I really hope that you did learn something today. Yes. Oh, this was awesome. How cool in that way. So I hope you had a lot of fun today. That's how we do it in Wonderland. Of course, have a good day. Thank you so much for playing. That was so much fun. That was, that was really fun. So much fun. That was really cute. That was so much fun. I knew we were going to win. <laughs> we had a bit of an advantage. But there were some tough questions yeah, in there. Yeah, Laura was our cast member who did the trivia. And she had some really tough questions. What a great way to end <laughs> our Disney trip. And we'll put the little selfie in there of everyone holding it and their little certificate. We'll put it on our wall. Yeah. So, well, it's that time. I think we're going to be heading over to the Caribbean beach. Yeah. We're going to hop in a lift and go to the airport. And then I think we'll take that time to kind of go over the Disney dining plan, tell you how much we actually spent compared to how much it cost, and tell you whether or not we feel like there's value in it. So let's go ahead and do that, and we'll see you in a little bit. Checked in for our flight. Yep, but we have some time to kill, so we're gonna check out the Disney store. Shopping, as always. I, you know, <laughs> whatever. Might as well, we spent so much money now. Actually, you know what, we really didn't spend, uh, yeah, we did, but. At least we saved on the Disney dining plan. We did, which we're gonna get into. We promise we'll get into that because we actually did not only beat the dining plan, but also we enjoyed using it. Yes. So we'll go into that detail just a little bit more, but let's go shop <laughs> again. Again. Let's do it. So here's an interesting question. Do you think you'll be able to find anything in this store that you can't in the parks? Do you think they have like a Orlando International Airport pin or something weird like that? Maybe, but I am looking around and everything that I'm seeing here, I have seen in the parks mm. or on property at some point in time. Interesting. Yeah. What you got your eye on? I'm eyeing this. It's a denim button down, it's embroidered. I feel like I'm gonna regret not getting it. The price is a little steep, I'm not gonna lie. I say you skip it because you know money. Yeah, $69.99. I don't think that, that's the same price as a spirit jersey. And I already have the short sleeve button down, which I'll show you. This was a part of the collection as well. So this is the short sleeve version. Now get this. This is $59.99 online. It was $20 less. Huh. So if you guys are looking for this adorable denim short sleeve, it is very true to size. I got an extra large and it fits perfect. Um, order it from the Disney store online. 
So what you're saying is, is we're just gonna skip on that denim jacket. Yeah, I'm gonna skip on this. Whew. That was close, ladies and gentlemen. That was that was close. We're looking rough, but we made it. We made it safe and sound. I don't know what else to say because I'm kind of tired. Now we have to drive home. You gotta drive home. <laughs> I drove here. And we are finally back <sighs> home, Wonderlanders. We came in last night super late, around midnight. Yeah. More like 12.30. We were extremely tired. It just takes a lot out of you traveling. Plus, with just how hot it was in Disney and how we kept going and going and going, we were just super tired. So we figured we'd wait until the next day to kind of go over our trip and mainly really go over the dining plan to kind of see if it is worth the value. Now, this is the first time that Samantha and I have used the dining plan since it's been brought back. Yeah. And I have to admit, we were a little skeptical of whether or not we were actually going to get our money's worth. I heard a lot of mixed reviews about the dining plan. Some people love it. Some people hate it. So I yeah. really didn't know what to expect. Yeah. And, you know, with that being said, we tried to go into this as best as we could with an open mind and also give you an honest opinion. Yes. That way you can take this information and utilize it and use it as best as you can. Now for two people for four nights, the Disney dining plan came out to a total of $754.24. Now before I tell you what our actual cost was, if we would have paid out of pocket, we went into this not trying to beat the Disney dining plan whatsoever. I know there's some people out there that try to do that to kind of get the best bang for their buck, but that wasn't the goal for this trip. The goal for this trip was for us to just basically see if it's worth the value to kind of go with the flow, go with our appetite, and see if we either had any points left over or to see if we even were able to kind of get close to what the actual cost was. Mm -hmm. So the actual cost of what we would have paid out of pocket for all of our sit down dinners, quick service, snacks, non-alcoholic and alcoholic beverages came out to, drum roll, guess what it was? $813.10. Cents. So just to clarify, that means that's how much money we would have spent if we weren't using the dining plan, which equates to a difference of $58.86. So that means unintentionally, we beat, you and I, <laughs> Samantha and I, beat the dining plan. <laughs> and honestly, it wasn't that hard to beat it. No. It really wasn't. So we didn't even feel pressured to have to like use all of these points or credits as, as I should say. And if you want to add gratuity, it's very easy to do so while on the Disney dining plan. Once again, when your cast member scans your magic band to decrease your dining plan points, you can actually use your magic band to charge the room and add gratuity that way, or you could pay cash. Tip your cast members. They deserve it. So with all that being said, over here at Wonderland, we think it is a great value to tack on that Disney dining plan to use. Hands down, totally worth it. <laughs> Let the streamers fly, the <laughs> champagne pop. I mean, I really believe that we're going to use it for every trip that we go to. Well, spoiler alert, we do have a trip coming up. And I called them and I added the Disney dining plan. You sure as Because that's did. how much we loved it. Yeah, it worked out perfect for us. Mm -hmm. We find the value in it. And again, it was easy, streamlined, super affordable. So yeah. Do not worry. Never fear, Wonderlanders. We will always return. We have a trip <laughs> coming up in August. We won't tell you what point of August, but we have a trip coming up in August. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your watch, your support.
support, your comments, your subs. We really appreciate it. Like Chris said, stay tuned. We will be back very soon. But in the meantime, catch all of our magical adventures on Watch Wonderland TV on Instagram where we post regularly. With that being said, let's see what happens next. Ooh.